Hi everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In my last video I showed you the easiest way on how to hack a new 3DS or 2DS XL using skater hacks and a PC. This time we're taking it a step further. I'm gonna show you how to hack any model in the 3DS family using nothing but a phone. Yes, that includes the old 2DS, old 3DS and of course the new 2DS and new 3DS series. In this video I'll be hacking this new Nintendo 2DS XL but you can follow along with whichever model you might have. As long as you have an Android phone or device that supports reading and writing to SD cards. But now, without any further delay, let's jump into it. To hack or jailbreak your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS using an Android phone or tablet or any Android device that supports micro SD cards, you'll need a reasonably large SD card. I'll be using this Nintendo approved 128GB card from SanDisk. And of course you'll also be needing an Android device. In this video I'm using a Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but you can use whatever you have laying around. Finally, it's helpful to have a micro SD card adapter. Since the Pixel 9 Pro Fold only has USB-C, I'm also using a small USB-C adapter to be able to use my micro SD card adapter with my phone. It might feel a bit clunky, but it will work just fine for what we're about to do. To prepare your phone and SD card, start by heading to Google Play Store and download the two apps said Archiver, which is a simple app used to manage, extract and compress files. Second, download MSET 9 Installer, the magical app that will help us jailbreak our device. Once you got the apps installed, open your phone's browser and head to the link in the video description labeled Latest MSET 9 Release. Under the What You Need section, tap the MSET 9 link, but be careful not to confuse it with the MSET 9 installer link above it, which will just take you back to the Google Play Store. You will be taken to a GitHub page for MSET 9, download the latest release.zip file. Insert the SD card into your Android device using the adapter or directly through the micro SD card slot if your device has one. Then open said archiver. If you're prompted to grant said archiver permission to read and write files, go ahead and allow it. And with your SD card mounted into your phone, go ahead and navigate to the downloads folder. This is your phone's internal downloads folder and here you'll find the release.zip file that we just downloaded. Tap on the file and select extract. Now navigate to your SD card. Once you're at the root location of your SD card, tap the grey down arrow icon at the bottom right corner to extract all the files directly onto your SD card. If you get any warnings or pop-ups when you do this, just click OK to proceed. After clicking the grey arrow to extract the files, select replace if you're prompted about what to do with the existing files. And once the contents of the release.zip file has been successfully extracted to the root folder of your SD card, close said archiver and open up the MSET 9 installer app. Tap on select Nintendo 3DS and once inside the folder, tap on use this folder and then allow access if prompted. If you don't see a folder named Nintendo 3DS on your SD card or can't select it, you'll need to remove the SD card from your phone, insert it into your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS and then power it on. This will automatically create the Nintendo 3DS folder for you. And if setup MSET 9 is now highlighted, everything worked as expected and we can move forward by tapping on it. After reviewing the disclaimer, tap confirm to accept it. And now this step is important, tap on the photo that corresponds to your console's model. At the bottom select your current firmware version, I'm using a new 2DS XL with firmware 11.17 so that's what I'll choose, but make sure to select the version that matches your console. And if everything went smoothly you will now see a prompt confirming that Hacks ID1 was created. And now we're going to follow the steps from the prompt. Set your phone aside for now, remove the SD card from it and insert it back into your console and power it on. Now open Mii Maker and wait until your console reaches the Welcome to Mii Maker screen. If you see this screen, it means the necessary data has been successfully created. And once that is done, tap on your home button and close down Mii Maker. Next, launch System Settings. 
Here you can verify that your console is currently running the original firmware as it says VER in front of the firmware version. Once the custom firmware is installed later, we wanted to say SYS instead. Now tap on Data Management, Nintendo 3DS, Software, and then Reset. Once that's done, power off your console by pressing the power button and then tapping power off on the lower screen. Grab your phone or Android device again and insert the micro SD card once more. When you open the MSET 9 installer app, it should now automatically verify whether you completed the previous steps correctly. If everything is set up properly, the inject trigger file option will now be highlighted. However, do not inject the trigger file yet. This step was just to confirm that we're ready to move forward. For now, put your phone, tablet or other Android device aside, remove the SD card and insert it back into your console. Now in this section, we will trigger MSET 9 to launch Safe B9S Installer, which is the custom firmware installer. These instructions must be followed exactly, so double check every step to avoid errors. If you're unsure about anything, pause the video, go back and rewatch the steps to make sure you don't miss anything. So power on your console, and if system settings is not already selected, use the D-pad to hover over system settings, then power off your console. Power it back on and without touching anything else, press on A to launch system settings. Now navigate to Data Management, Nintendo 3DS, Extra Data. At this point, do not press any buttons or touch the screen. With the console still powered on and without pressing anything, remove the SD card from your console. The menu will refresh and display a message indicating that no SD card is inserted. This is expected. Put your console aside and insert the SD card into your phone. Open the MSET 9 installer app and this time tap on inject trigger file. The button should now become grayed out and remove trigger file will be highlighted instead. Reinsert your SD card into your console and once again without pressing any buttons or touching the screen and if you did everything correctly and the exploit was successful, your console will now boot into Safe B9S Installer. You're now ready to install custom firmware on your console. When prompted, enter the key combination shown on the top screen to install Boot 9 Strap. Once the installation is complete, press A to reboot your console. Your console should now boot into Luma 3DS configurations menu, and for this guide leave all options at their default settings, do not check or uncheck anything, instead press start a few times to save and reboot your console. A 3DS or 2DS with custom firmware looks almost identical to one running the original firmware. However, if you go into system settings, you'll now see that it says SYS in front of the firmware version. This confirms that we are now running custom firmware, meaning we have successfully hacked and installed custom firmware on our 2DS or 3DS console using just a phone. But there is one important final step we need to complete before installing homebrew apps and other custom software. Power off your console, remove the SD card and insert it back into your phone. Open the MSET 9 installer app and tap on Remove MSET 9. At this point your console will now boot to Luma 3DS by default. Do not skip this step, if you do, applications may crash unexpectedly, and you'll likely encounter errors down the road. Now the last thing you need to do from your phone is to go to the link in the video description labeled Finalize Setup. Download the two files x underscore finalize underscore helper dot firm and finalize dot roms fs. Open said archiver and navigate to your downloads folder on your device. Here you should see the two files we just downloaded. Tap and hold on finalize.romfs and select copy. Then follow my steps to locate your SD card. And once you're in the root directory of your SD card, tap on the paste icon in the bottom right corner, replacing any files if asked. Next, go back to the downloads folder on your device, and this time tap and hold on the x underscore finalize underscore helper file and select copy. 
navigate to your SD card one last time and from the root directory open the Luma folder, then the payloads folder. And if the payloads folder doesn't exist, you can create one. Once inside the payloads folder, tap on the paste icon again to paste the file there. Insert your SD card back into your console and while the console is powered off, hold X and while holding X, power on your console. This will launch the finalizing setup helper. If successful, you'll boot into God Mode 9. From now on, you can access God Mode 9 by holding start while powering on your console. If you, like me, can't see anything at first, use the volume slider to adjust the brightness of your screens. Press the home button to bring up the action menu, select scripts, then choose finalize. Follow the prompts in the script, answering any questions as they appear. Once the script says setup complete, press A to power off your device. In addition to installing all the essential homebrew apps to get you started, the script also creates a full backup of your system's NAND. You'll find this backup in the gm 9 backups folder on your SD card. As soon as possible, I highly recommend copying that backup to a safe location, like a computer or cloud storage. This backup is crucial and can save your console if you accidentally brick it in the future. Thanks for watching this step-by-step -step guide on how to hack or jailbreak your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS console using nothing but your Android device. I hope this video helped you out or that you enjoyed watching it. If it did, consider giving the video a thumbs up and dropping a comment to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Cravers for more videos like this in the future. Catch you in the next one. Tech Cravers out.